Good morning, everybody. Thank you so for joining me on this Sunday morning. And in this uh, video, I'll essentially talk about different table types in Apache hoodie, more and cow in deep dive. Uh, this uh, information that I'm going to be present uh, is basically taken from this um, medium blog post that is different table types in Apache hoodie, uh, data like Apache hoodie, cow more by Siva Bala Narayan. So I'm gonna present this information in slides today and try to explain you the concept. He has done a fantastic job. And again, um, I was able to understand all the concepts very well from uh, his uh, blog post. There are two types of table, basically copy on write and merge on read. So cow stands for copy on write and more stands for merge on read. Uh, basically, what are data files or base file in Apache hoodie, right? So the hoodie stores the data in a columnar parquet format and it's also called as data files or the base file. Right. Um, uh, these. Uh, let me just make this a little bit. Okay. Uh, these uh, is also known. Uh, this is also known to be very performant and widely used across the industry. The data files and the base files are interchangeably used in general, but they both mean the same. These are essentially a parquet file which stores data. Right. What is a delta log file? Uh, so let's understand that a little bit. So I try to make the font size a little bigger here. Hopefully, uh, this is visible now. Okay, so in more table format updates are sent to a delta log files, which is stored in Avro format. These delta log files are always associated with a base file. Uh, what the author is trying to explain you guys here is basically he's trying to say that whenever you do an update, right, that update essentially, uh, if you can uh, see my screen, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. So whenever you make that update, essentially that update happens in a, it, you know, who is going to make a, a, you know, basically a new log file, right? So here the author explains, let's say you have a data file called data file one, right? This is your, the blue, the blue color, right? That's your data file, right? Any updates to the record in the data file one will be added to a new Delta log file. So again, any updates will be essentially added to that log file. Um, and hoodie will do a real time merge of records in the base file. So it will essentially do a real time merge again, as it says, I don't have to repeat that hoodie will do a real time merge of records in the base file and its corresponding Delta log files while serving the read part, uh, while serving the read queries, uh, clearly makes sense to me. What is file groups? Now, these are some of the, just the basic concept, right? What is a data file or a base file? What is a de Delta log files, right? And now what is a file group, right? In general, there could be a lot of data files depending upon how much data is stored, right? Each data file has its own corresponding Delta log files, uh, basically Delta log files and form one file group. So uh, again, there is one file, right? Your parquet file, which has your data, and there might be multiple updates on that, which will be essentially stored in the log file. Together, the data file and the log file together constitutes a file group. That's what the author is trying to explain. File versions, what is that? So, um, uh, although um, the author, I mean, I was trying to say author, there's a typo here. Author explains in the context of um, COW, that is copy on read, whenever an update happens uh, to the data file, a newer version of data file will be created, which contains the merged record from the older data file and the newer incoming records. So what he's trying to say is basically whenever there's an update, it's going to copy everything into a new file, right? It's going to do the merge between the old and the new one and essentially store the all the information about the new file. And, and, and again, as you can see in this blue, uh, if you observe this one, right, the author explains with a with a with a nice diagram here. Okay. Copy on write tables. Um, so basically, as the name suggests, every new batch of writes to the hoodie will result in creating a new copy of a respective data files and a newer version will be created along with the record from the incoming batch. Again, this is what copy on write table means, right? Now let's jump into copy on write table, okay? So again, the author now explains everything in a very beautiful way. Uh, let me also uh, bring my camera down. So in case I don't obstruct the image, hopefully that made sense. So let's say we are getting a new batch of writes and the right. Uh, uh, um, so let's say we are getting a new batch of writes and after indexing, we find that these uh, uh, these have re uh, these have records matching file group one and file group two. And then there is a new insert for uh, which we are going to create a new file group. Uh, we are going to create a new file group four. 
So what the author explains here is he's trying to say that uh, assume you had this file one, file two, and uh, you know old file three. Now the new incoming batch insert came right. Now what happened is basically uh, in in copy on write, you know again as I said right, uh, it's gonna uh, perform a merge operation between the new and the old file. And essentially, as you can see, uh, data file v2 a uh, second version is created. Similarly for data file two v2 right. Um, there is no changes in the uh, data file 3 v1 so that that comes as, as it is and a new record will be as essentially in data file 4 v1 again that's basically the concept that he's trying to explain so both the files so again this is the same thing that i explained so both uh, both the data file 1 and the data file 2 will have a newer version created as you can see right because they have updates uh, okay and then data file 1 v2 uh, is nothing but the contents of the data file 1 v1 merged with the records from the incoming batch matching records in the data file v1 again the author explains the same thing he's trying to say that you know and uh, since there were updates in the data file 1 the version will be changed to data file 1 v2 that's exactly what author is trying to explain to you in this so here it says uh, cow or copy on write does incur some write latency due to the merge cost happening during the write. Now remember when you write something right uh, it has to look in the if, if, if it is a matching right it has to match the records in the older file uh, and then essentially it's going to perform the merge. So there is a little write latency that the author says. But the beauty of cow is that it's simplicity especially in terms of operationalizing. There are uh, um, there are no other table services like compaction required uh, and relatively easier to debug. Now again, the word compaction author explains in the further slides uh, very well. So so basically, I hope this made sense, right? Uh, C O W or copy on uh, right, right? That's what happens, right? Now let's see what is uh, more or basically merge on read. Um, so again, we'll 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 take an example here. Again, as the name suggests, merge cost is moved to the reader side from the writer side. Remember in cow, copy on write, what, what used to happen whenever there was essentially any change or update, uh, Hoodie used to compare that with the older version, right? And then essentially merge and create a new uh, uh, version of that file, right? But in uh, this one that is merge on read, what happens is again, uh, the merge cost is moved to the reader from the writer side. Now let's see how that happens. Hence, during a write, we don't do merge or creation of a new data file version. Once the tagging indexing is complete for the existing data files that have records to be updated, Hoodie creates a delta log files and names them appropriately so that they all belong to one file group. Again, same concept here, right? So. What happens is basically anytime you have now updates, you're not going to do the updates when you're writing it. You're going to have all that in the log files. Now see what happens. Uh, I think there's a very nice uh, um, stuff the author explains. Um, so, and the reader will do a real time uh, merging of the base files and its respective delta log file. As you would have guessed it, the author says, as you would have guessed it, now you will think, okay, when would you essentially merge the log files and the main file, right? So that is when the author explains here, right? User can choose to run compaction either inline or in asynchronous mode. There are different compaction strategies to choose from. The most uh, widely used one is based on the number of commits. So basically say uh, if there are more than four commits, you wanna basically perform the merge op operation or the compaction, right? Uh, basically that's what author is trying to say. Again, very important because what happens is in previous in cow, COW or copy on write, we essentially, anytime there's a write, we used to compare the older version and then we essentially uh, merged uh, the data and essentially made a new version. But here, it, we don't do that. We essentially write all the updates in a log file and anytime a criteria satisfy, for example, hey, if the number of commit is more than four, you know, uh, create a new merge file, right? That, that's what happens. So for example, you can configure to have a maximum delta logs file for compaction four. This means that after four delta log files have been created for a data file, it will be compared and a newer data file will be created. Once the compaction is complete, the reader have to read the latest data file um, and does not care about the older files version. Again, very, very well explained, very, very well explained by the author. 
Now, finally, the author explains the comparison of cow and mor. So, the right latency. As discussed earlier, cow has a, that is cow is basically copy on write as a higher write latency when compared to a mor due to the synchronous merge happening during the write. Again, uh, clearly makes sense. I don't have to explain this part. Read latency. Since we have to do real time merge in mor, right? Since you have to do a real time merge in mor, mor tends to have a higher read latency. Okay, which makes sense when compared to cow, but if you have configured appropriately the if you have configured uh, appropriately the compaction strategies based on your needs more could play out well as well update cost io cost is going to be higher for cow since we create a newer data files for every batch of writes more has a very minimal io cost since the updates are uh, updates uh, go into a delta log file I strongly recommend, again, the author, uh, again, I strongly recommend to go to his official blog post and read further. The author essentially concludes, even, uh, even though a more uh, might seem to have some downside, it offers, uh, you know, different querying capabilities like read optimized query, which may not incur the additional merge cost. And if you have, uh, uh, if you have an async compaction job uh, with an appropriate configs, you could uh, reap all the benefits of more uh, with respect to trading or trade off uh, on, 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 the, on the latency. So again, it's up to you which one you choose uh, more or uh, cow, right? It totally depends upon your application. Quickly want to share my screen, want to switch this uh, screen quickly. So I'm going to turn this off, turn this on and I'll go to this one. So again, this is the article that I was talking about, which talks in detail about every single thing here, right? About cow and more, which one to use, right? So depending upon your application, choose this wisely, whether you want to go for uh, COW or MOR. Again, um, very well explained by the author, okay? So that's it for this video. I just wanted to read this article uh, for you guys. And if you have any more question, let me know your question in the comments and uh, we'll go from there. But again, great article by the author. And again, these are very trending technologies, right? Apache, Hoodie, Iceberg, Delta Lakes. A lot of articles have been posted in the year 2022 and 2021. People are moving to Lake House, right? So I, I encourage you guys to read more, you know, learn more about this technology. And I'm sure this will benefit you in the long run. Thank you so much. Uh, keep smiling, keep programming, keep learning. I'll see you guys in the next video.